Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. Tonight, let's journey back to the 18th century to explore one of the most dynamic and faithful preachers of the gospel in the history of the Christian church. It was said of this man that he spent more time preaching the word of God than he did sleeping. He was George Whitfield, the tenacious evangelist of England and the American colonies. Whitfield was born into a fractured family in 1714 in Gloucester, England. His father died when little George was two, and his mother abandoned the family when George was 10. His life took a dramatic turn when he was 20 years old and met two brothers named John and Charles Wesley. The Wesleys were instrumental in young George's life, and this friendship laid the foundation for a life of ferocious gospel preaching unprecedented in the history of Christianity. Whitfield clearly had a gift for communicating. He possessed a special interest in the theater and public speaking, and as a boy, he would often forgo his studies to explore great historical theater productions. But it was not his mere communication ability that made him an effective preacher. It was his insatiable love for the Word of God and his desire to see men and women believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He began his public pastoring ministry in 1739 with a sermon to a group of coal miners when he was 24. Until his dying breath in 1770, he never slowed and he almost never stopped. Historians believe that Whitfield preached roughly 1,000 times every year for 30 years of public ministry. A friend of Whitfield's once estimated that he would spend anywhere between 40 and 60 hours per week preaching and teaching. Whitfield rarely, if ever, took a vacation. His version of a vacation was the eight-week-long voyage between England and the American colonies, a journey on which he embarked numerous times throughout his life. While on the ship, what was he doing? Not resting, but preaching and explaining the scriptures to the ship's crew. J.C. Ryle, the great English theologian of the 19th century, once said this of Whitfield, He was eminently a man of one thing and always about his master's business. From Sunday mornings to Saturday nights, from the 1st of January to the 31st of December, excepting when laid aside by illness, he was almost incessantly preaching Christ and going about the world, entreating men to repent and come to Christ and be saved. Whitfield was a sinner, but like Paul before him, he did not fear to glory in his weakness for the sake of making much of the name of Jesus. He is a shining example for us of a man who dedicated his life to revealing the saving power of Jesus Christ. He once said this, I know no other reason why Jesus has put me into the ministry than because I am the chief of sinners and therefore fittest to preach free grace to a world lying in the wicked one. George Whitfield died at the age of 55 on September 30th, 1770 in Newburyport, Massachusetts. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.